Hello friends and welcome back to my Minecraft 1.19 Let's Play. We are on episode 8 and for today's episode we are going to work on building a mob grinder. So I'm not sure if you guys seen my live I did a few weeks ago or maybe like a week or so ago. We found a spawner in our mine. Uh, so we're going to do uh, uh, where we just build it up so we can get XP from it. And we also are going to build something big over here. Right up there on that hill up there. So we're going to work on that today. So we have something big we want to build as well as making our XP grinder. So before we hop into this, uh, this adventure, go ahead and like and subscribe and make sure you leave a comment below if you have any suggestions on what we can add. All right, let's go ahead and hop into this. Alrighty, so we're going to need a few materials for the things that we want to do today. So for the mob grinder, we just need stone and iron, which we have plenty of. But for what I want to build over here, we're going to have to go on a little adventure. So I need terracotta. And as you can see... There's no terracotta in sight, so we're going to have to look and see if we can find a, uh, I think it's called like a Badlands biome. I'm not really sure if that's the current name for it, but basically we need terracotta and there is none in sight. So uh, let's go ahead and grab a boat and see... If we can find one I believe I've already been in this direction but I'm not sure I've been that far out so let's grab a boat some food um, and anything else we need before we head on this adventure uh, so I want to grab those materials first before we get started on this mob grinder so we can get enough XP to add all of our enchant, uh, enchanting books to our armor. So let's go ahead and grab the supplies we need and then head out to look for a Badlands. Okay, so we have our bed, boat, and food. So let's go ahead and head on out and see if we can find terracotta. And I have no idea where this is so this might take a while so i'm just gonna go ahead and head out and if i see anything crazy along the way then i'll be back with you guys otherwise with the power of editing you'll see me in a bad lance
Okay, so we have been traveling for quite some time, and I think I found the smallest little patch of terracotta ever, along with a village. Um, so I'll collect what I can from here, but we're going to go look and see if we can find a big, bigger area, because we're going to need a lot more than this, so... I'll check back in with you guys once I find a bigger area because we're going to need a lot more. Okay, so quick update. Uh, there was actually plenty of terracotta hidden under the orange terracotta. As you can see, I've even grabbed some of the brown terracotta as well. So I think we should be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and check out this little village down here and see if I can take anything. Uh, but other than that, I will see you guys back at the village. Alrighty, so we have gathered supplies we're going to need for this build. And we are building a windmill. Uh, we're going to have like a little house attached to it. And I think that's where we're going to store like all of our wheat and vegetables and stuff like that. So I'm going to have a huge field around here with plenty of wheat and we'll have a place for to, to basically store it all and maybe put a villager in here to you know take care of everything so we're gonna get started on that first because it's gonna take a while to build so i want to get that out the way and then we're going to do our uh, mob grinder which is down here which we have all the things we need we already have the supplies so i'm gonna be using a different block that I haven't used before which is terracotta so I think it's the white one yeah so we just need dye and the plain terracotta so we're gonna be using this we're gonna be using mangrove of course uh, the mud bricks and dark oak and one more thing since it's a windmill we're going to need wool so let's go collect a little bit of that all the way over here in the barn. There we go. Do I need to put more grass over here? It looks like they ate it all up. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna need wool and the other blocks we have collected. So I'm going to spend a little time doing some resource gathering and then we're going to go ahead and hop into the time lapse of this build.
Okay, so it's been quite some time. I would say over five hours. So I've done quite a lot after building. I wanted to go ahead and put the wheat down as well as decorate. So let's take a quick tour. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, so we have put a path going up here, connecting to the path to the town already. And we did like some little rocks over here just to kind of make it look um, natural. And then I also put some of these down with the lanterns under it just so it lights up the area. Let's go ahead and head into here. So this is the massive wheat field we have over here. It is huge. I can tell you I have never right clicked so much in my life. So let's check out the actual windmill building over here. So I'm thinking of just putting a villager behind the counter and he can like handle any type of services we need over here. Uh, but yeah, just small little decorations in here. Let's go up to the second floor. So I added a bed up here, a uh, little storage area, flowers, just really cute. And then up here, it's kind of like a area where we can put our thoughts and write down stuff and then as well as storage. So very simple decorations, but still useful because we can use it for storage. All right, and let's check out the house that's connected to here. This, I'm not really sure. It's just an extra house, I guess. Uh, has like a little kitchen area. Got the rug out here. Book uh, shelves. Um, let's see, go upstairs. Plenty of storage. Getting to put all the wheat in here that we want. Anything that's pertaining to farming, we can put in here. And then I have a texture pack where the item frames are uh, invisible. So I just put like flowers on the floor. But yeah, had to light it up in here. I don't want anything spawning in here, messing with any of these, any of our items over here. But yes, I'm really proud of this. It looks so nice. And let's see if we can take a peek of the actual wheat before the sun goes down. This is massive. It is so much wheat back here. This took so long, my finger hurts. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a little aerial view for you guys so you can see how huge it is. Okay, since we are completed with our windmill, now it's time to head down to the mines and complete this mob spawner. So I'm gonna be using a tutorial I've seen online, so I'll link them down below. Um, I think we don't need that many materials. We have our hopper, chest, uh, cobblestone if we need extra. We have our water buckets, ladders, and I think that is all we need. So let's go ahead and head down here and get started on this. So I'm not sure if you noticed, but my levels are on seven <laughs> because I died while building um, the windmill. I fell off. So now we need this spawner now more than ever. So let's see if we can find it. Uh, we shouldn't have too many mobs down here because we lit this place up so let's see if i can remember where it is okay so we found the spawner it's a little bit farther away than i thought so gonna take a minute to get down here maybe we can build um something to get us down here but this is our spawner so now i'm gonna go ahead and follow this tutorial on how to do this so it says we need to have 
four spaces in between the spawner in each direction. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so basically we're gonna carve this out to be a nine by nine. So let's do that. Okay, so after we do that, we're gonna go ahead and dig down three blocks. And that's gonna be for this whole area. So it might take a bit. Okay, so after we do that, we're gonna go ahead and place our water buckets in each corner. So let's go ahead and grab our water buckets. All right, so we're gonna place a water in each corner. Okay, and now that we did that, we're gonna go ahead and break these. And then we're gonna dig down right in the center. It says to go down 15 blocks, but I want to be close enough for the spawner to still be working. So I'll probably do 12 and see if that works. Okay, so this is gonna be the chamber for them to drop down in. So let's go ahead and dig out a room for us to work with. Wow, okay, <laughs> well we have a chicken. Let's go ahead and put our, what do we need to put down? We need to put our harper down right here, as well as a slab. Can you move little guy? We're super busy right here. Thank you. And this is gonna be the killing chamber. Pretty dark down here. Okay, let I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab some torches. So we're gonna have to, we'll dig back down. <laughs> let me just grab a torch from up here. Okay, so this is gonna be our chamber to uh, kill the zombies. As, as you can see, we're close enough where the, it's still active. So we're gonna put our hopper down. Oh, well, first, you know, we have to put our chest down, actually. I wish he would stop hopping in there, little guy. You want to go in the hopper? <laughs> okay. Oh, it glitched. Okay. So let's put our chest down, and then we'll connect the hopper to the chest. And then we'll put the slab right there. So anything that falls will go in there. So what we need to do is dig a way up. That's what we need to do. So let's see if can make this a little more spacious than I can dig up. Then we can make like a staircase up. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I had to head back up and grab some more torches. Uh, so while I was digging up, we ran into some diamonds. So I think I want to take a fortune and put it on our pickaxe before we mine it. So let's see, I think we have a fortune three book in here somewhere. 
where is it there we go we have a fortune three book and let's go ahead and put a mending book on there as well if we have enough levels because as you guys remember i died while building the windmill so all of my levels are gone and i had quite a lot so let's put all this in there all this junk where is we have an anvil somewhere one day i'm gonna organize this i promise okay so let's go ahead and see if we can get both of them on there so fortune Ooh, we might not be able to get mending on there oh no just a tad bit too high let's see maybe i can breed some animals i don't know let's see well we can put it on later the most important task right now is to go grab those diamonds so i will see you guys when i get back down there okay so we've made it back and we have some diamonds here we put our fortune three on here so let's see how many we can get Oh wow, it looks like it was two veins over here. But we know. Wow, we received 30 diamonds. Okay. Well, I'm glad I decided to do this mob spawner. We were able to discover some treasures doing that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and head back down here. And I think we need to add stairs because this is going to be a headache. Going up and down these stairs each time. Okay, so our chamber area is done. So the next thing we have to do is actually dig back up there. So we can take, um, get rid of the uh, torches so let's go ahead and do that without dying hopefully I think we need to add maybe like a little water bucket right here just so we don't die well it's only 12 blocks down maybe we can add a ladder that'll probably do better so let's do that we'll dig up oh that's why I brought the ladders duh okay so we'll dig up so we can remove the torches. Hopefully we should be right under water. Okay, yes, already. So let's go ahead and put, there we go. And then we'll go ahead and put trap doors. Oh, don't send me down there. <laughs> no. Okay, so we'll put a trap door right here. Let's leave that open. Hopefully I'm able to get back in without dying. So it is one more thing I needed to do. I need to put a one, two, three. I need to put a slab on top of there. So they don't spawn on top so let's see if we can do this without dying i think they need they need zero light to spawn now so let's see if we can get these torches off of here oh there we go no don't kill me okay let's break these down so nobody spawns on here and then we need to get through this one Ooh, there we go go down please oh. all right 
So let's close this trap door. And then they should be spawning down here. Now they're, they won't be one hit because it's not like a lot of blocks for them to drop, but it's still enough where they can, I'm close enough to the spawner and they'll continuously spawn. So, see? Now we have a way to get levels. All right, so I think we are going to head out for today. Thank you guys so much for continuing to watch, like, and comment, and let me know what you guys think. Uh, so for our next episode, I think we need to start preparing for the dragon fight. So now that we have our mob grinder, we'll go ahead and get our levels back up. And we'll put all of our enchantments on our armor and our tools and start brewing whatever potions we need because we need to prepare for the dragon as well as start doing some storage storage and organization around here because it's getting ridiculous. All right, friends. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe as it's 100% free and it really, really helps the channel out. All right. Bye, friends.